Hey everybody, it's Friday, it's a Friday update, and uh, uh, Jeff and Megan here with Vern, and we're doing things a little bit different uh, today. Uh, typically, we're down at the center, we're all hanging out together, uh, and we're not this morning because, um, you know what, we're just in this uh, um, bit of a strange COVID time, and uh, we may have been uh, potentially uh, exposed, so we're just not sure. We're going to find out within the next 24 hours, hopefully, and... Um, and if that's uh, whether there's a positive or a negative test and uh, if it's negative, then we just carry on, but we're just, you know, being cautious, right? Uh, we don't want to uh, be, be going anywhere if, if there's a chance that we're taking part in, in spreading something. So uh, we're just being careful. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jeff and Megan, don't you guys have rights? Come on, come on. I, I thought we would riff for a second on, cause, cause I know this is really, weight on you guys and um your first reflexive action is why you know why don't i just get on with it and uh we were we were chatting a little bit we looked up first corinthians 11 or 10 and i thought we would just touch base on that because you know there's so much uh talk around your our freedom and what you know we should be allowed to do or not allowed to do and mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you read first century passages and you're going, were they thinking of COVID? I mean, this passage is called the believer's freedom. Let me just read it. I'm just going like, if you didn't, you could, you could literally think Paul was writing to us in 2020, the believer's freedom. I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. No one should seek their own good, but the good of others, mm -hmm. like talk about that for a sec. Like, what does that mean to you? How does that how does that play out as you make understand that? Yeah, it it means, you know, to to do the right thing. Even even this morning, I was tempted to go into work, go into the office, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I just feel like that wouldn't be the right thing to do because I could potentially be putting other people at risk and that would greatly affect their lives. And um, it's just, it's not about me. Um, what? It's not about what, you know, and I do, I have the right right now to, to leave my house and go do whatever, but um, that, that wouldn't be the right thing. I could, be, I could be potentially harming people, um, putting people at risk. Um, you know, I just, even this morning, I saw this this thing of this protest that's happening. I think it's in Ontario of people protesting their own individual rights to not wear a mask. Um, and I think our world is so individualistic, um, but you're seeing that come out so strongly mm -hmm. right now with yeah. um, just everyone fighting for their own individual rights. Um, and we know we know the facts that there are there are people who are immune compromised. There are the elderly, there are people with conditions, um, underlying conditions that mm -hmm. are dying from this. Yeah. And most people, yeah, most people are, are, are fine. Most people, you know, you're sick for a few days and, and you recover. Um, but a lot of people have still, you know, are at risk and, and it's our duty um, to care for them and, you know, seek their good and not our own. Mm -hmm. That's funny, as you said that, that phrase, it's not about me. How I heard that was, well, it is about me to some degree, but then this is how I reinterpret that in my mind. It's not first about me. Right. It is about me, but, it's, right. but it's not first about me. Right. right. No one should it's not that we don't matter as an individual. We do, but it's no one should for others. Own good, but the good of others. Yeah. First, the very first impulse as followers of Jesus should be the good of others. And then my own rights, needs, wants, desires play into that. Right. Yeah. Totally. What are you, I saw you rustling through something there. What's your thoughts on this? Oh, was I? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you an opportunity to correct both of us here. Uh, no, man, I, I, I'm on board with that. I think that, uh, sorry, I'm just, I had two Bibles. I was looking at two different uh, interpretations of that, the ESV and the passion. Um, and uh, where were we going? Oh, yeah. I love how uh, you say under grace, that. there are no rules and we're free to do anything we please. This is the passion. And he goes, not exactly. 
because not everything promotes growth in others, oh, wow. uh, which, is, which is great. Your, your slogan, we're allowed to do anything we choose, may be true, but not everything causes spiritual advancement of others. And I think that often we, in this individual, this pursuit of individualism or individual rights, um, I mean, it goes back to kind of where Jesus was going with all the disciples and, and uh, uh, when he, he started on the scene there, there was this idea that, that even he was going to be this individual that was going to be a king that was raised mm -hmm. up and was going to take over and, mm -hmm. and was going to battle the Romans and was going to change everything like that, right? And even Jesus went, no, 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 like I'm here to, I'm here to serve, like I'm here to, to love on people. And it's a very different kingdom that that's being done. And, and we, we often keep, I mean, I think we still do that. We, we grab onto um, politicians and mm -hmm. we either say they are, or they aren't, you know, we almost put them in that place of where, where Jesus should be sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say names of politicians, but, or what people do is sometimes, but we almost take them and, and they become our new savior and that they're going to be the one who's going to change it all. Yeah. And it's based again on an individual. That's not Jesus. Jesus did change everything. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I was talking about this the other day. Um, I think maybe it was Sunday morning. Is it affecting our peace? Is this taking the peace that you have and is affecting the rest that you have? Uh, this morning, my peace and my rest was a little disturbed. Yeah. Yep. Um, just to be honest. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I had to wrestle through some things. Um, but my, what I remember is I'm going to go back to that place and I'm not going to let my peace and my rest be disturbed. Now my peace and my rest is going to be disturbed if I'm doing something that is now going to affect others in a negative way. And uh, I don't, I don't want to affect others in a negative way. I want to have a, a positive influence. I want to be um, the, the ones that come out and help people uh, in, in situations and uh, work through stuff with people in situations, not ever hindering them. And um, so it, that would pretend, that would hurt their growth, right? So this freedom to do anything that we want uh, is often just an expression of don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, <laughs> why, why are you so opposed to that? Why, why is, why, Jesus didn't come and say, from now on, go out there and don't let anybody tell you what to do. How to live your life, right? <laughs> He, and in fact, he, he opposed anybody who kind of came in with that kind of a thing. When they, whenever they would try to trap them into some sort of a thing, well, tell us what to do here. Man, he would send, their, send them spinning in, yeah. with yeah. some sort of an upside down kingdom perspective on this whole thing. And uh, so it's, yeah, man, we could, we could really get, we could get going on okay. this one for a while. Because it's not about, it's <laughs> about loving God and loving your neighbor. It really is, right? And, it, and it's not a battle it's not a battle against government. It's not a battle against your neighbor, right? It's, it's the kingdom is here. The kingdom is all around us. Uh, the battle's won and there's, there's a battle that's going on in the spiritual. And yeah. sometimes that's, that's in our heart that something is stirring up. And when we get offended or we get angry or something bothers us and, and we're going, ah, I need to fight this. Now I, I'm angry. And that's projected at somebody rather than taking to a place of prayer and going, God, why is that stealing my peace and my rest? Yeah. Um, you know, this is now, nope, that's okay. This is holy anger. It's different. No, it's not. You're, 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 uh, what's the word? You're offended. It's not, that's not holy anger. You're offended by something or you, I, I will not be controlled by something. Will not allow something to control me. And, uh, you know, so anyways, it, go and love on your neighbors. We're, we're, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And when we fight, we have to fight for our rights instead of letting God fight for us. We, I love that phrase. We lose our peace. We lose our rest. We do. And we know something's missing. I mean, that's probably why Jesus says, um, or James says, human anger does not accomplish God's purposes. Yeah. And I mean, and you talked about this a couple of weeks ago yeah. um, in church. We're at home. So, and yeah. Yeah. you're hearing our children. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> so let's, let's talk a little bit about this Sunday then in terms of just kind of the, the um, what we're, we're looking at and thinking about for Sunday, how this plays out. Yeah. Well, hopefully uh, it changes nothing. And we just, we just get a test result back and, and it's just, um, uh, it's negative. And yeah. we go, hey, right on, smooth sailing. We just continue on with what we had planned for Sunday. 
um, and, which is still our transition Sunday, uh, where we're, you know, Burn, you and, and Susan are handing over leadership to us, and uh, we're going to carry on from there, and you guys are going to go on your rest. Um, now, so that's our, that's our plan, and that's where we're going to continue to do. Sign up's going to be on at 12 here. And, uh, um, and, and sign up is really important this week because there's only one service at 10 o'clock right. for 50 people. So we don't have room for 100. We've only got room for 50. So in right. 43 minutes, you know, it'd be like signing up for a concert you want to go to. Get ready. Yeah, get, <laughs> yeah, sign up. Sign up for it so you don't miss it. If now. So that's the plan. Yeah. Nothing changes. 10 o'clock. Everything we've been talking about for the past month is staying the same. Plan B should should things change we'll simply be online on sunday um we, we, there won't be a, a a live meeting um and uh we'll carry on online and we're going to keep we're going to do the transition online and yeah. uh we're going to keep moving forward and you know what it's uh we make our plans and god's going to guide our steps and uh um yeah and it's going to be good either way yeah and in this season i think we've all learned that we need to be able to adapt to change very quickly that plans we can make them, but they're going to, they could change. Um, and so that's just, we have to just get used to that in this season. And we, we've all, I think a lot of us have already adjusted to the fact that things change. Um, yeah. we're, getting change good at, quickly. we're getting good at pivoting. Everybody's yeah. learning to pivot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like um, all playing basketball or something. Yeah. And the nice, and the nice thing is for anyone who signs up, um, we'll have all your email addresses because we're a big brother. No, we'll we contact have, you. Well, we do. We have everyone. And, and so if there's any change, it's very simple for us just to let everybody know who signed yes. up. So if you sign up, check your emails when you get up Sunday morning. Yep. And, uh, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll let you know update you if, if there is any changes. Yeah. yeah. Like we'll, we'll be on Facebook. Um, we will put it onto YouTube after we'll have it on there. So that we're still going to go forward with this. And yeah, we've got some great cool. videos. We got some really cool stuff planned either way. We'll be able to show the videos that people have sent in uh, on online. Anyways, they'll all be up there. Of course, if you're there Sunday morning and we're live, it will also be on the big screen, but yeah. Uh, and I just, I, you know, we can still do community and we can still have connection, even if we can't be together in person, yeah. um, which is, I, I'm, we're talking, I'm going to be talking about this in a couple of weeks that we still need to have connection with one another, even if we can't be together in person. Um, you know, I, I met with new joy church on zoom and it was great. It, it's not ideal and it's not the best, but we still were able to connect on, on zoom with these people. And so I just, I just think it's, we don't, we don't just back off and say, you know what, what's the point in all this? What's the point in, in church? No, we still, we press in and we still pursue connection with each other. Um, that's super, super important, especially in this time. So, yeah. yeah. And, and at the end of, of chapter first Corinthians chapter 10, the last thing that Paul says in that one is, is I sincerely attempt to do anything I can so that others may be saved. Um, the, the point of, the point of it is that we're not hindering the gospel, right? And all these fights and all these arguments that we end up in often are, are, um, distractions from the gospel message. And, uh, my goodness, I don't ever want to stand in the way of hindering the gospel message because I got into an argument on whether I should be wearing a mask going into Ikea or not. And yeah, you know, woe unto me if that happens. I'll, I'll put a mask on and I'll go in there and, and, and look, eyes, see what God is doing because God is still at work. God has not fallen off his throne. And uh, there's, a, there's a message that still needs to be spread. Mm -hmm. and people that still need to encounter God and people that still need to grow in their own lives. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, Paul says that so often and all the things that he, he writes, it does, it does not, it's written in throughout that this doesn't hinder the gospel. It just doesn't hinder the gospel. It doesn't hinder the gospel message. And yeah. so many of the things that you think are like, well, that's a, a contradictory or, or something like that. He's going, the main point is don't let it hinder the, the gospel message. People need to know the gospel message. So um, yeah. Anyway, so then we have anything else? We That's a lot to? of stuff. We've just been we talking go. a while here, but we've got quite a few things to say. All right, so stay in touch. Um, we will uh, be updating everybody. Uh, it's still Friday afternoon. Sunday morning is a, a long way away. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Okay, yeah. Ronnie wanted me to mention this. Ronnie, who's heading up our life groups, like I said, connection is so important in this time, mm -hmm. and we need people to get into life groups so that we can be connected in community and knitted together. So you can go on to the Chilliwack Vineyard Church 
Church.com. No, it's chillockvineyard.com. Chillock Vineyard Church won't work. Okay. Chillockvineyard.com. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Go to our website. There is a link right on the homepage to sign up for a life group to get into one. So please do that. Uh, we want to get the ball rolling on that. We want to get life groups started um, in October. Um, so please, even if you have been in a life group last year, we still need your names. We still need to know who wants to be in a life group, regardless of um, if you were in one last year or not. So please go do that. Yeah. Um, and don't forget to sign up today at 12 o'clock for Sunday morning. All right. So, so yeah. we'll, see that. we'll see everybody one way, shape, or form on Sunday. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Pray for negative test results. Bye, Vern. Bye-bye.